We live in strange and terrifying times. We live in an age in which the President of the United States and leader of the free world was forced to deny that he was an active agent of Russia. We live in an age in which American politics is so fraught that that same man who continues to run our country from the Oval Office and several other members of his family and the White House are under investigation for extremely serious offenses. The Justice Department was forced to commission former director of the FBI Robert S. Mueller III to be a special counsel to investigate allegations that the Trump campaign and the presidential election of 2016 colluded with Russian state actors in order to steal the election result from Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton and then committed obstruction of justice afterwards in an attempt to cover it up. However, somehow, Donald Trump is still our president and special counsel Mueller has still only managed to indict people like Paul Manafort and Roger Stone who are no longer actively working for the president of the White House. It now seems like forever since Mueller promised us publicly that the results of his inquiries were just around the corner, yet we have still seen no significant attempt to remove Donald Trump from his position. However, that might finally all be about to change. UP until now, there have been separate investigations going on, one taking place under Mueller and others being conducted by Democrats in Congress, especially in the House of Representatives. Now, though, the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence has just formally decided to hand over a whole load of interview transcripts directly to the special counsel's team, which might just be enough for him to finally form a case against senior members of the White House. Pooling resources in this way is really just common sense if we really want to get to the bottom of exactly what happened in 2016. Reportedly, several senior figures are included directly in the transcripts including people like Trump's son Donald Trump Jr. First daughter Ivanka Trump, her husband and senior White House advisor Jared Kushner, former senior aide to Trump, Steve Bannon and former White House aide and communications director, Hope Hicks. All of these are very big names who would make big scalps for Mueller themselves and who, if brought on side, might just have enough information between them to bring down the president. 